Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope this video finds you well. And uh, apparently, there's been a game that came out by the name of Honor of King's World that everyone is saying that it's a mixture of Monster Hunter and Dauntless. Now, I've only seen uh, just one screenshot of it, basically of, of a caption saying Monster Hunter mixed with Dauntless, and that actually caught my attention, and so I started to look more into it. I didn't see the trailer. I'm kind of mad at myself that I wasn't able to see it. I wasn't able to kind of keep track of like the whole gaming news, but that's actually entirely my fault because there's been a lot of stuff going on on my side. But yeah, <laughs> I wanted to hurry up and get and actually look at it. I know I look a little bit janky because I wasn't didn't have the time to kind of set up everything properly, but it is what it is, okay? But from what I've heard, it's like a sequel or something or part of it from actually from a mobile game. Uh, that the company uh, made, I think it was in like Chinese mobile, a Chinese mobile game, and it was very popular apparently uh, in China. So, 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 they're taking a crack at it on making a AAA game, and from what I've read and researched, it's a worldwide release, so we're gonna get it too. So. <laughs> So I was like, you know what? Let's, without further ado, let's get uh, let's just let's just get into it. I want to see exactly. Um, it is uh, the first trailer, so I don't really expect to see any type of gameplay or something. I do uh, expect for it, of course, to be like a cinematic trailer because nowadays everything is gonna have a cinematic trailer before they even show uh, gameplay of whatever it is. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a good look at it. Okay, so. Here we are. We are looking at the trailer of Honor of King's World. It says it's an official Unreal Engine gameplay trailer. So this is actually... I didn't expect that. Uh, a Unreal Engine gameplay trailer. I mean, even with Unreal Engine gameplay trailer, I am still going to take it as like with a grain of salt because you don't, we don't really know uh, if this is actually going to be what the product is going to look like when it's finished and it's released to us. It, it could look entirely different. So I am going to take what I see with a grain of salt. But without further ado, let's uh, let's watch it. Let's watch it. Timmy Studio. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. The bow, two people. What? Yo, that's yo, that's yo. Okay, I see why people are saying that's dauntless. Oh, snap, that's cool. Wait, did he just change weapons right off the bat? Yo! Yo, a part just broke. Wow, this looks like gonna be an open world. I mean, and you can still see the dragon in the back. Sky whales? What the heck? What the heck? So 
So everything's gonna have the word world in it now? Everybody's gonna just copy Monster Hunter? <laughs> So wait a minute, there is a lot of stuff that I've seen here, especially with the so-called gameplay. Yeah, it does kind of play like right here, right here, it does kind of play like uh, Monster Hunter Dauntless. But there's another game that it actually plays like as well, which is basically Tolkien. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, like right here. Yep, here we go. Right here is where you see the parts broken, and this actually goes well with, uh, of course, um, of course, Monster Hunter of how you break the arms or you break the horns. Uh, the same thing goes with uh, Tolkien. Then I don't know about Dauntless because the way Dauntless break like you break their stuff, it leaves. I don't know. I would say it's different from what it's shown here, but there is like some inspiration there. But it's actually really, really pretty fucking interesting that it's gonna show something like this. And if this is the trailer, which I like, not the trailer, but the gameplay, um, of course, I didn't expect it to actually show gameplay. And it does show that there is a map. And you see the, you see that uh, it's gonna have like a north, south, east, and west sort of thing. And so, and it has like other, like, you see the level, the like the weapon icon, and other like inputs to basically do to kind of do like dodging attacks, change weapons, or do some type of magic. Because it did show during the beginning of it, not during the beginning, like while it was fighting, that uh, this character uh, was not only using this giant sword, but actually started dual wielding. So it makes me think like it's. Uh, Am I going to be able to use multiple weapons at once or or uh, am I going to be able to choose one specific weapon? You, de you do see another character using the bow, but you don't see anything when it comes to changing it. There could be different weapons that you can choose from that have their own type of mobility and skills and weapon change because if, there's, if this is one... A specific choice that you can uh, get and this specific weapons could change it to two weapons and that's pretty cool and then you will have like another weapon uh, from what I do see that it does that you do see the health bar and the level of the monster as well as the character uh, which kind of makes me go towards uh, I would say with Dragon's Dogma with the whole Dragon's Dogma online thing and Tolkien and too but that's just me but this is actually really really freaking cool that I get to see something like this but yeah this is actually really really uh, really interesting because from what it did show from what it did show it looks like it has a lot of potential it has a lot of vibrant colors it's, it's I would say it's more colorful than uh, Rise it's a lot more colorful than Rise. You can say that that the way they structure the colors and the areas, um, it's similar to Genshin Impact, and I that I really don't mind at all. Uh, with of course the monster looks pretty freaking interesting. Uh, well, of course we'll try to find out what uh, if they were to ever show like a translated version of it, because everything is in Chinese or Mandarin. Uh, and it has it like English subtitles when they're speaking uh, But no nonetheless, it does seems to be very interesting I do think that this game is gonna have a lot of potential, but of course we'll have to see later on uh, To to basically see what they're going to show us, but yeah, that's Pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that trailer with me because there was a lot in that that I do want to that, that I do want to look back on, uh, just in case if they do make another if they do release any more uh, information or any more trailers, I'll get to uh, speak about that later on. But yeah, 
it's actually, that's actually really cool like I'm kind of speechless honestly <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for coming to, to today's video hope you guys leave a like if you enjoy if you are new hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you won't miss any of my future videos and yeah and with that being said I am off because I have stuff to do